From the prosperous age to the chaotic collapse, the battlefields of Total War Pharaoh share one thing across all the realms. They're quite pretty. Photo mode is being added into Total War Pharaoh so you can capture the glory of the ancient kingdoms, the close victories, and this hippo. What a chill dude. Let's check it out. So we're going to check two scenarios I think would be fun for taking photos in. First up, we're going to go with one of my favorite maps, Kirka Oasis. Plenty of water, nice streets, an interesting temple, and of course, the aforementioned hippo taking it easy. Now I hope you don't mind, I'm going to Bob Ross a tad. So the subject of my photo is here, the statue of Thoth on the island in the lake. This guy's got some nice colours, and being a god, I feel it's only right we make them look resplendent. First things first, I'm going to change the environment to a bit of a clearer sunset, with Moloch looming. After that, we'll reposition the skybox using the tools given to silhouette Thoth, and reposition ourselves to seal the deal, as you're still completely free to roam around in photo mode. Now we're here, we're going to boost the god ray's intensity and lower the fog. I want that sun to properly shine through. Now let's switch to the camera settings. In here we're going to change the f-stop, adjusting the depth of field, giving that background a nice blur. After this we'll reduce the FOV to get a nice zoom in on Thoth. And then I'm going to reduce the exposure, making the camera take in less light, as I like a nice crunchy image. That's just a personal preference. Moving on to filters, in here it's worth experimenting to see which effects apply the colour grade you're looking for, ranging from nice warmths to frosty colds, with some nice in-between, such as singular colour pickups. I'm going to stick with Legendary here, as the warmth brings out the most of the dusk in my eyes, and the additional contrast is very nice. I'm also going to up the saturation to break out some more warmth, and the contrast because, as said, I love me some crunch. We're going to do some final tweaks here and there with positioning and god rays, and then we'll head into frames and apply some nice black bars, which you can utilize for either horizontal, cinematic approaches, or square and vertical if those take your fancy. Okay, now that Foth looks nice, let's move on to our next subject. Ah, Korunta, the usurper, the beast in the dark of Hati, stalks his prey through Canaan. Only thing is, it's a really nice day. I don't think he'd be a fan of that, so let's get to work. Heading into photo mode, we can use the environment once again to change the map to night. And after playing with the tools we utilized before, we can transform this from Korunta's nice daytime jaunt to the impending doom march of Hati's shadow descending upon Canaan. Pressing the Persist in Battle button as well allows these conditions and camera settings to remain on the battlefield once we exit photo mode. And if we really wanted, we could also change the environment to storms, something Koronta is very used to, but it's worth keeping in mind that making that persist during an actual battle, the weather conditions do not change. If it was sunny and you changed it to rain, it's still sunny. The rain's just a state of mind for old Karanta here. Okay, so hopefully this has got you inspired to take photos during both an age of beauty and an age of chaos. So get out there, document your victories, your defeats, your empires, and let your creativity shine in parallel to your strategic brilliance. Oh